What's up everybody? This is GCXBU. Hello. Right to my mirror. And I um, want to let you guys know that I am going to unbox Resident Evil Revelations on the home consoles, of course. The reason why I'm saying that is because, uh, how do you call it? I played the original one, and the original one is on the 3DS. And I'll tell you why. See this? All, all my game collections here. Watch this. This game right here in particular. Resident Evil Revelations on the 3DS. If you mastered this game, you are a beast. From casual, normal, and hell mode. Think about it. Remember how a lot of people say about veteran mode and Call of Duty games, like how when you get shot like once or twice, you die, right? In hell mode in here, it's that persistent when, when you're, uh, how do you call it, the creatures that you go up against uh, go harder on you. Let's say, you know, like those B.O.W.s, the one when you play as Parker, that one, or the part when you have to... Uh, kill off Rachel but she ends up killing you so many times that one or the the ending one when you play as I mean when you still get control of uh, Joe Valentine of course you you face Morgan the infected one he infected himself that Veltro guy and imagine that in hell mode it was horrendous I know there's uh, only a few people that I know that uh, beat in hell mode including me because from all the people that I know that haven't beat in hell mode they they tell me it's hard but if i know it may be hard for them and for me as well because it took me a while to do because you got to master the controls of your character and not oh not only that you have to uh do everything in that game to try not to avoid being touched by those creatures because if once you get touched by them and let's say you get attacked by them by each side, like left, right, front, back, and all that, I mean, it's just really, really godly annoying, I mean, and to prove that, Resident Evil Revelations is on my 3DS, but guess what's in here, the home console, it doesn't need an introduction, because I pre-ordered this, paid it in full, on the first day when I uh, pre-ordered it. Here's the thing. When it comes to me and my my games. When I uh, pre-order games. I paid it for. If I uh, put like a $5 payment. It's not going to do it for me. It's better to pick it up. And get it in your hands. It's like. you know, like Why would you need to like. Buy this game on, on the day when it gets released. I mean like. I wouldn't want to spend my money on that. I would have spend my money. Just by paying it in full. Once you pay it in full. You need to. You just have to pick it up. And of course. I bought this in Savannah Park, Maryland. And as you can see here. Resident Evil Revelations is $49.99. Which is golly expensive. But I uh, didn't do any warranty. Because I don't really need it. Uh, the total is $49.99. Of course. With a. The three dollar tax in Maryland was just horrendous, and the, the, that's the thing right there. Fifty two ninety nine. Sorry. And you want to uh, pre-order it? They will give you a code. They will give you a code on uh, DLC. Finally, something they can do, right? And as you can tell, this is how I do my qualities, my quality on my uh, video, on my YouTube channel. But I did not use my, uh, how do you call it, my PS Vita. I, did, I don't use that. I actually use my camcorder. You know how I do it? I just do it like this and play it through. I just uh, put on like a tri on a tripod. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. I do have my video camera somewhere. Where the, where the hell did I put that son of a bitch? But uh, that's actually my setup, how I play my games. That's my tripod. This one here. That's my tripod. How the hell is my fucking camera? It's summer, but... Yeah, this this one right here. This, here. Here's the box. That's the camera I use. The thing is, I just turn off the, fo the focus. Because if you turn off the focus on your uh, digital camera, you, you can have the best quality. 
of your uh, thing on your when you do it like this. I mean, but if since I'm using the Vita, it's going to be a good quality when it, when I uh, he actually you know do my gameplay. Think about it. I mean, if I only had like in a certain the and all that. Not bad. Since this has been a hype stuff for me in Resident Evil Revelations, including on my Facebook as well, I did mention a lot of things about Resident Evil Revelations. To all the fans that play the 3DS version, of course, it's not going to be hard to play this game. The only th thing that's hard in here is the new feature they have uh, introduced, and that is Inferno Mode. You know, like when you say, like, those casual, normal, and hell difficulties, right? Like, you see all those creatures that are walking around in those certain places, right? But you know when there are certain places where they are actually empty? Inferno mode, that's where they're gonna be, and they're gonna be horrendously hard as hell. Good God. I can just imagine that. Think about it. If I'm playing hell mode, I would get fucked up at the moment. This is not like me playing Drew and the Grudge when I get scared easily. No, 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 no. That's totally different. Because I I actually do get scared when I play horror games. I'm not talking about like Resident Evil games. I'm talking about like like real good ones like Fatal Frame, Drew and the Grudge and all that. Yeah. Those will flip me up. You know what I mean? But, Res but Resident Evil is like one of those games that don't make me flinch at all. But it's only the movies. The movies that actually the one that makes me flinch because like, you know, there's like some parts like they make you jump like ah and all that. <laughs> I mean, so anyway, this this is pretty much just the unboxing of Resident Evil Revelations, and uh, maybe next time I will unbox a future game sometime. You know, probably like Grand Theft Auto Five or Metal Water the sequel. I have I haven't bought that yet because. Uh, I'm still working on Metal of Honor, as you can tell. If because when I have my gameplay, I mean game series, I stick to the game series by the story. So I, once I know the story, it's easier for me to know what's going on. No, uh, not on, not only uh, what I said, Metal of Honor. I need, I need to buy the sequel for that one. I need to buy the sequel to Dead Island as well. Because Riptide, yeah, I know about that, but uh, I haven't played this game yet. But uh, my brother has, and I've been watching watching the cutscenes with him, so at least I know what the story is about. So that's gonna be cool. So I'm 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 gonna say something to all my fans that about my gaming, like how, how I actually buy my games. I don't start off by buying sequels because when I buy sequels, I don't want to spoil myself to a story that I haven't, uh, you know, know about. I mean, the f the first game that I actually did that was Final Fantasy X-2. And I regret doing that because I didn't know that Final Fantasy X was the prequel to the game. And that's the only part, that's the downside when I first did it. I did not like what I did. That... I know the story of 10 to, but I did not know the story of 10 because I'm like, I didn't know about it. I mean, I don't know anything about Final Fantasy 10. I only know about Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 10 too. Like, let's say, uh, you know, like Metal Gear Solid, for example. I've been playing Metal Gear series during the, during the 90s. I mean, the MSX version and the NES version, it doesn't matter. It's still Metal Gear Solid series. I mean. Once I'm a, once you're a fan of the series, you get, you will, you will end up buying the games. That's what I did here, and I mean, Rising, Four, and the HD collections, and then I have the HD collections on the Vita. Not only that, I have here, I have Metal Gear Acid, Metal Gear Acid Two, in the digital novel. So basically, you can call me that, call me a Metal Gear Solid fan, cause I know my. I know the timeline, I know the story, but the, but the, the series that I just got started on uh, recently, Resident Evil. The thing is, uh, I've, been, I've been playing Resident Evil for a long time since 
the PlayStation 1 glory days. That was like back in the good old days. I first started off playing Resident Evil 2 and 3. I never played the first one. I didn't know anything about that. But all I know that Resident Evil 2 and 3 were, was the best Resident Evil games during the PlayStation 1 era. Then from there on, then we got Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6, and Operation Raccoon City, of course. Which it definitely explained like, how it uh, kind of affect to uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3. As as I know from the story, of course. I, I, I'm not just doing this by uh, how they call it by uh, how the story sucks to some people. To me, I don't care about your criticism. Like, why can you not enjoy a good game for once? I'm like, come on. You're just judging the game just by the story and everything, and it won't make sense to, like, the whole series? I'm like, come on, give this game a chance. Just, like, did you even play the game, or why you... But if you did, why are you criticizing this game then? Because, you know... I know a lot of people like to say that Operation Raccoon City is the horrible one compared to 6. What they say about... They have, I know they have, like, three main characters, you know, like... Chris Redfield, Leon Kennedy, and uh, Jake Wesker. But the uh, thing is... I already beaten uh, Chris Redfield's and uh, Jake Wesker's campaign. Now I'm currently working on Leon Kennedy and uh, Ada Wong. So, I haven't done that yet. I'm not sure if I might do a Let's Play series of this one. Because uh, I already did a Let's Play series on this one in professional mode. And it was hard as hell. Beating the living hell out of Albert Wesker. I'm like, oh my god, it was horrendously that bad. I kept on dying so much, as I recall. If you if you actually seen if you actually seen my uh, video, my uh, channel, you would definitely know why. I kept dying so much, but I uh, the thing is I, I don't I don't want to post it. That's why I just want to just keep it on throughout the whole entire game. But the best series that I've I've been through. Wrestling is the best one because from here, there's the PlayStation 3. I have all the PlayStation 2 games from uh, the very first one. Just bring it. Just bring it. Show you might know that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna, not gonna take it up because I'm just already organized. I mean, another good series is Tekken. Been a huge Tekken fan since Tekken 2. It's always Tekken 2. Tekken 1. I. I I do I do not own on the how do you call it the PlayStation Network store. I ha I do not have that game because uh, I'm not gonna judge on graphics. I'm going to judge on uh, the lack the lackability of character of character appearances. I'm talking about the way they look. I'm not talking about the graphics. I'm talking about the way they look. It's just purely awkward. That's why. I, that's why I didn't buy res. I mean, uh, Tekken 1 and the, the PlayStation Store. That's the part that sucked. Another good series I've got into, as well as Killzone. Another series as well as Metal of Honor. I've been playing the, you know, the extra game. They have in here or something, whatever it is. They have an extra game or something. Once you, it's like, when you, when you, uh, get this game... You, uh, how do you call it? You get to download the old previous one on the play, I mean, the PlayStation Portal or something. Not bad. And, uh, yet, of course, I know that everybody's waiting for the fifth one. It's coming out on September 17. And maybe I'll, you know, just play this, like, you know, get a good run out of it. I haven't done a Let's Play series. I do have a lot of games I can do a Let's Play series on, but the ones that I've done is Mortal Kombat, Resident Evil 5. It's the ones that I've only done so far. But if I have to do a, like I said, if I have to do a Let's Play series, there's a lot of games I can do. Not only just Call of Duty, what everybody like to say about Call of Duty. Call of Duty sucks. Yeah, I know it sucks. But the only game that I only play now is this game because my sniping skills is better in this game mostly. And I know that people are into anticipating Call of Duty Ghosts made by by uh, Activision's 
thing. What was it? Oh yeah, Infinity Ward. God, Infinity Ward sucks. I just can't stand Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward and Treyarch. Horrible game developers of Call of Duty. It would have been better if Call of Duty would be different from a different game developer. Let's think about it. Imagine if Call of Duty was a different game developer besides Activision, Infinity Ward, and Treyarch. Really. If, if it was something else, they would be different and it would be better and they would be restricted on their games to kids. It would be nice if there's a Call of Duty game with no kids at all. Because that's the reason why Call of Duty sucks now. Call of Duty sucks because of kids playing the game. Because why are little kids playing this game? And it's, hello, rated M for mature. Like, bad parenting, of course. Like, they're gonna, then they're suffering their parents to buy their games for them. Mommy, can you please buy this game? I want to play Call of Duty. Like, oh my god, get shut up. That's the reason why Call of Duty sucks now. The reason I got into Call of Duty is after Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike Source. Basically, yes. I uh, I am a former PC gamer, as you can tell, of course. I I, I play a lot of PC games, you know, like from uh, Doom, Duke Nukem, Quake series. A lot of series, I know. I mean, but the best series I've played in the PC is Counter-Strike. After Counter-Strike, that's when Call of Duty. I got into Call of Duty. Call of Duty. I'm not a I'm not like a big fan of the how they call it this. No, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the story and everything like that. I'm talking about the series, like how bad it was going to change. Then we got Ghosts coming out. I'm like serious. Like this is going to be stupid. Think about it. Call of Duty Ghosts. It's ah uh, I don't want to think about it. But if I have to. But a lot of people say that's going to be different. It's going to be a different game. It's going to be all that stuff and everything. But I don't care. But anyways, it, this has been a fantastic unboxing. And uh, good luck to everybody playing uh, Inferno mode, including me as well. Alright guys, take care and God bless you guys. As we are going to play Resident Evil Revelations on May 21st of today.